What's up guys? Welcome back to the Techie Family Channel. I'm Lou. Today we're uh, taking another look at probably still the best bang for your buck when it comes to security cameras. We did a security camera segment almost at the beginning of this channel, almost a year ago. It's been that long. Wow, I'm getting old, time flies. Anyways, so we covered some security cameras. We had the Logitech Circle, we had the Wise Cams. Uh, since then, I've introduced the Nests to my house. Uh, and still, to this day, I still believe that your best bang for your buck is the Wise products. Now we've got the regular Wise Cam. We got it in black. Picked it up at a local Home Depot. I know they were limited edition, so you might not be able to find the black ones anymore, but they do still have them in white on Amazon. I want to break down just the overall features, what makes this thing the best bang for your buck. And quite honestly, the most important is the price. 25 bucks gets you a security camera from Wise. Not too expensive when you're comparing it to some of the other cameras out there. So for 25 bucks, you're gonna get a security camera. The build quality and the features of this camera for 25 bucks is a good deal. First of all, we'll talk about the build quality, right? Build quality is gonna be great for a camera of this size. Very small, very compact. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I've got this little pencil case here, uh, which was specifically made for the Wise Cam. Let me go ahead and take it out. So, this is it here. You can sell very small, very compact. What I like about it, it's on a three axis to be able to maneuver your camera into position or the angle that you're trying to get. Cause you know, it's all about the angles when it comes to techie family. You can sit it on a, on the table. You can sit it on a, you know, a chest of drawer, wherever it is that you want to put it. it. Comes with a little magnetic piece as well. So you can stick it up on the wall and have it hanging somewhere. We can literally move this head around, tilt up and down, like whatever angle you, you need to get. This camera's gonna be able to get into that position. Giggity. It's got full 1080, uh, full HD uh, video quality, which is great. Uh, it's got night vision, it's got motion tagging. So everything that you would want in a security camera is in this little package for 25 bucks. So it's got an SD card slot so you can record to local storage. And one of the drawbacks to this particular camera was the motion detection and the cooldown time between motion detection. So for example, if you've got this thing set up as a security camera to detect motion to start recording, once it detects motion, it records for about 12 to 14 seconds. After it records for 12 to 14 seconds, there's a cool down period between alerts. So somebody walks into the house, it records that initial 12 to 14 seconds, but then there's a, a good few minutes before you get anything else uh, it being recorded. So you might see the person that walks into the house, but you might not see you know, them taking your big screen TV off the wall and walking it out to the car or whatever, because there's just a big cool down time in between the alerts. If you've got it going to the cloud service. The good thing about this guy is that you can put in the SD card and have it record locally and that's continuous recording for however long the however long you can record given the size of the memory card that you put in to this particular device. So if you get home stuff is missing you can uh, plug this in. It's got a USB port um, in the back so you can plug it right up to a computer and actually see the whole shebang as opposed to relying on the cloud service, which is a really good feature to have on a, on a security camera. I've got some of my Logitechs um, don't have local storage. So I'm relying on them recording to the cloud and me being able to access it right through the app. My internet goes down. There's not, there's not much that that I can do, I'm gonna miss out on on some footage there. So I think that was a good a good idea on on their behalf to implement that local storage, which is probably one of the biggest advantages to having a security camera like this. It's uh, easy to set up. It's got a great it's got a great app. 
even though it's limited in the, some of the features, uh, the setup was pretty easy. And another, another good feature is you can, after the initial setup, you don't necessarily need to keep it connected to Wi-Fi. So you do need Wi-Fi for the setup. So after you set it up through Wi-Fi, you can actually put this camera anywhere in another place, uh, someplace that doesn't have internet, doesn't have Wi-Fi, and it'll still continue recording onto the memory card, which was huge. Sometimes we all put things in places that we, we just can't because there's no, there's no internet. We can't monitor it. And obviously you won't be able to monitor it, but you can check in um, every so often, grab the memory card, plug it up to a computer and see what's been going on, which is a good feature. You know, a lot of good features packed into a $25 uh, webcam, you know, it's got some drawbacks. So the, the captures when it detects motion and the cool down time in between, that was a big one. But for 25 bucks, you know, you shouldn't be expecting all the bells and whistles. That's why they've, they have that SD card slot built in to be able to circumvent around you know some of those drawbacks that they they do have on the alerts as well there's customization as far as when you want to receive those alerts you can pick the times of day where those alerts are are on so if you know you're home between 12 and 5 every day you can shut off the alerts for between 12 and 5 because obviously you're home but if you want those alerts on after that time you can set it to to alert you during those times the only downside is you can't pick what days you want it to alert you on so for example if you're only at your house 12 to 5 monday through friday um, and you want to customize alerts for the weekend that's something you can't do through the app it's a little bit limited when it comes to customizing those alerts you can only pick the time of day you can't pick the, the actual day or the certain days of the week where as some of the other brands you're able to do that for example the logitech circle like literally you know mondays and mondays and tuesdays alert me all day and wednesdays between this time and this time but for 25 bucks you know compared to the logitechs were 200 when i first got them you know it, it's I'll take that hit for 25 bucks, you know, times a times a little rough. You got kids and stuff, you know, the economy, bills and and all that, you know, so broke can't even pay attention. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We'll continue moving on. Another con is the weatherproofing. So obviously the $25 camera is not weatherproof. You cannot put it outside in the elements and expect it to hold up they do sell particular housings and so on to make it viable but it's still not i wouldn't trust it you know uh it's still not made to go outside it's not made to withstand the elements so just keep that in mind if it's something that you're looking for outside they do sell certain housings that'll be able to let you put it outside but the camera itself the way it is do not let it rain guys okay do not let it rain i mean it'll probably look sexy wet in black with the water dripping yeah we won't go there we won't go there anyways moving on the other complaint that i may have is the mic quality or the audio quality when you're trying to do two-way communication volume on it not that great so when you try to talk through the wise cam I've got kids, you know, most of the time they're not gonna hear me, especially if they're running around, they got the TV on loud. Um, the quality in that in that regard is not that great. Obviously I'm not expecting anything crazy. Can't put a, that big of a speaker on a camera this size. So, I mean, it was expected, but I just wanna throw it out there just in case you guys are taking a look into the wise cam and just keep that in mind. That's uh, that's definitely a drawback. You can hear, but I've got older kids. They're a little louder. They like to watch the TV a little louder. So, you know, it's hard to hear when I'm talking through this wise cam and there's stuff going on, you know, life. It is what it is. But overall, still, in our opinion, your best bank for your buck. $25 uh, right on Amazon. You can't go wrong. If you're looking for security don't know where to start this is definitely a good place for it just remember you gotta pick up an sd card alongside with it does not come included but if you don't have a memory card you can uh view your recordings through the cloud 
for up to 14 days. And those are those 12 to 14 second recordings uh, with that cool down period. So just keep that in mind. It's definitely recommended. Pick up an SD card, 32 gigs, 64, whatever floats your boat. Cool. But this has been it. Just a quick overview. Just wanted to, you know, re-update on what's still probably the best bag for your buck when it comes to security cameras. Good place to start. Um, even if you're not starting, it's a good place to check out too. Uh, they've got some some features that some of the other ones don't that I like personally. Uh, compact, small, you could pretty much put it anywhere, but black on black. Black on black on black. Black on black on black. Black, black pencil case, black wise cam. You know what's interesting? I didn't see this in white. So if you had the white, oh, but the camera's black the circle so that makes sense never mind i thought you might still be able to see the camera through the little hole you know it, it no I, I figured it out the the camera itself is black which will only show up black through here so you won't see the white camera through the pencil case which is pretty good this thing's awesome though you know this thing's pretty cool they had other things you know there's uh, other options out there you, just in case you're trying to you know conceal the camera Try to, you know, spy, get your spy game on. <laughs> Whatever you guys are into, won't get into that, you know. But uh, either way, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified whenever we drop new content. Hit that like button down below, drop some comments. Hit us up. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know what you guys think. You know, we're, uh, we're staying conservative with uh, all the stuff that's going on around. So Lou's not with me today. We'll be getting up uh, real soon. So we'll be back together like we never left, you know, like MJ and Pippin, like Goku and Vegeta. Yeah, like uh, Mario and Luigi, like Ash, Catchem and Pikachu. Mm-hmm. I keep going. I can go on. Either way, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Take your family over and out.